Now folks, I'm a God-fearing man, and I gotta tell you, just the name alone makes this hatchet stand out to me. This is the Hardcore Hammer Super Naturalist is the name of this hatchet that we're taking a look at today. Uh, I stumbled across this company probably a year ago. Kind of had my eye on them. They have, they're a US company that's producing kind of this crossover between a woods ax and like a carpenter ax. And that's what you'll see here. You know, we have a, a nail notch that we're gonna use today and test out, you know, to pull nails. You have an actual, you know, functional hammer that's really nice. And then we got a great drop forged, uh, 4140 USA made uh, axe head here. So, I mean, we got a lot going on. Uh, 17 ounces on the axe head. We got an 18 inch hickory handle and you can purchase separately an awesome little leather sheath with their logo stamped in on it. Perfectly set up for this thing. So uh, this has the potential and we're gonna test it out and do the whole review and do the whole litany for you today of being a great pack axe or pack hatchet. Uh, so we packed it up here today at one of our uh, regular blade boot camps, uh, carried it up and have been testing it out. And uh, let's go ahead, jump to it, see what it has to offer, pros, cons, and whether or not this might be right up your alley if you're looking for a pack axe with this super naturalist. So let's hit it. Oh my gosh, dude. That is insane. You're not bringing it back towards me, right? There you go. Boom shakalaka. Nice. All right, let's take a look here at the actual head. Now, what we're looking at is USA made 4140 steel. Now, I haven't had a lot of use with that steel. I know that there are some very premium, like RMJ, uh, tomahawks, which are like $400 tomahawks that use that exact same type of steel. Um, so, you know, it, from what I'm seeing on the market, it's a good steel to use for the heads of axes and tomahawks and that type of thing. It's a very shock resistant steel. It's a high carbon, uh, you know, so there will be some rust. This has a good kind of coating on it. What we're looking at here is from the front to the back is gonna be about 6.6 .6 inches overall length. We are looking at a weight of 17 ounces on the head itself. We are looking at a three and a quarter inch blade edge right here. And we're looking at a maximum thickness on the head right back here of one inch. What I really like about this, which really causes the power to happen and the, the, the capability is that it's really nice and thin down here by the blade edge. So it's gonna bite into your wood and get huge chunks, but then it gets you a really good wide to an, a full inch uh, back here 
in, in a very gradual way. So you're getting that really nice deep bite right away, but it's still thick enough that you can get splitting done. I was actually really surprised with the capability of splitting for such a small compact hatchet. So you can do light splitting with it if you need to. This isn't a two-handed you know, camp axe. You're gonna be splitting logs that are like a foot width. That's not gonna happen. But for the smaller kindling splitting task, it actually works really well. And I love the blade edge. They did a really good profile. A lot of axes come really dull. This came with a really good edge on it. And after all the work that you've seen here, we just have a very slight little burr right there that I'll easily be able to work out. So very nice overall and it's a setup. We got laser engraving, wear eye protection on one side and USA Made in their logo on the other. So it's nice it's not just a sticker or something like that. Then we have that nail puller, which did a great job. Very easy for you to pull out nails that would be in there. And just gives you a little bit more utility. You know, it's much more of like a roofer's axe is kind of the, some of the functionality, but it definitely feels almost like a, a blend between um, a, a roofer's axe, a camp axe, and uh, like a, a tomahawk, you know, I mean, it's got all of those feel to it. And we got this great hammer portion back here. It literally felt like I was using any of my hammers that are in my tool chest uh, to hammer in those pieces uh, of, uh, or those nails in those pieces of wood. Just so nice and gives you such big capability, not only around the house and around the property, but also out when you're camping and hiking. So very nice to see all of that. And just a very high performer. The head itself just performed very well for me. Was able to do a lot of work and a lot of tasks not only in splitting but also the huge amount of chopping it was a great chopper for how lightweight the overall axe is and i think that's a lot to do with the sharp edge out of the box and then the really nice very gradual um uh, angle to the back thickness. A lot of axes are pretty wide right out of the gate and that keeps it from being a really good um, axe to bite into the wood and, it, and it's really only meant for splitting. This can do a lot of chopping and can get some decent uh, splitting done as well. All right, let's go ahead and hit the price point on this bad boy. So you're gonna be looking at 60 bucks for the hatchet itself. And then uh, $24 last I checked, and if I remember correctly, is what I paid for the sheath. So they are separate. So if you do wanna do custom Kydex or custom leather sheaths, that's totally your call, uh, which is nice that they kind of give that option there. So $82 or $84 total package. And uh, I do love this sheath, it's fantastic. It's not gonna come off the head. They did a great job, great you know points here. This kind of pin that goes in pops off, slides right off, puts it back on. Great little setup. You know, no belt attachment, obviously, that would have been a little nice extra bonus to have there. But for everything that I'm seeing, I mean, it's a great price point. They do sell these on Amazon. So I'm gonna have a link, not only to their website, but also over to Amazon. That's a great way to help support the channel and continue for us to do what we do and be able to purchase gear just like this that we went out and bought today to test out for you, um, you know, when you guys use those hyperlinks. So if you're digging what you see here, links below, go ahead and check them out. 60 for the ax, for, uh, 24 for the sheath. 84, under 100 bucks for everything that I see here is fantastic and giving some axes that, uh, you know, are over 100, I think some run for their money for sure and some more capability with the nail puller and the actual hammer pommel. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look here at the handle now. Now, this was one of the things that made me gravitate towards this right away is that this is 17.6 inches long, so almost 18 inches overall length. Most, not only tactical tomahawks that you may see out there on the market, but also camp axes and hatchets often are between about 12 inches to maybe like 14 inches. So this gives you a lot of real estate on the handle to work with and just feels very nimble in the, in the hand, gives you more reach feels really ergonomic when I hold it right here with this hickory handle that has been treated. So it is slightly slick, but I found with this nice swell that they give you back here, I never had to like reset that the hatchet. I could get multiple swings for several, several, really, really minutes without any sort of hot spots, rever reverberations in my hand or fatiguing my hand and just sat in there so nicely. It doesn't come with a lanyard hole. I would have liked to see that just as an added bonus for those of you who want to use that, but you can see it definitely flares out there. There's a slight twist uh, to the left, it looks like, uh, with the grain of this hickory handle. And then on the eye right here, we do have two pins that have kept it very secure over the lifetime of us testing it and using it without any sort of wobbling or anything like that. But I really like this a lot. You know, you can always do, you know, hockey tape, 
uh, different types duct tape even if you want to just to give you a little ex extra traction if you want to but I didn't have any sort of issues with it wanting to fly out of my hand it was very ergonomic for and just gave me a really good balance and feel with it being an overall weight the weight the head weight 17 ounces overall weight is 28 ounces very impressive and very well balanced and gives you a lot of power for such a lightweight package so we had to decide is this a naturalist or a supernaturalist when it comes to its capability. And I gotta tell you, with all the use that we've done so far, I love this thing. And for $60, um, you know, and then another 24 or whatever for the sheath if you wanna go that route, and it, or you can do customs, you know, Kydex, leather, whatever you wanna do. For, but for 60 bucks for the ax itself and 85 for the whole package, I am extremely impressed for a pack ax and gives me more capability than just chopping wood. I can now get some really good hammering done if need be, you know, uh, hammering in tent pegs, whatever it may be, or work just around the house and then the nail puller again. So it's kind of a, a multifunctional tool, but again, going back to the chopping, the splitting, all that type of stuff for the size, the weight class, and then that 4140 steel, all you USA made for that price point. I can't say enough good things about it, guys. Uh, I, I love it, and this is jumping me into doing more um, hatchets and tomahawk reviews that you guys will see in the future. So really digging this, but I uh, want to, you know, again, share this company with you. I have seen almost zero um, footage on YouTube, reviews on YouTube, and uh, hopefully this will get some popularity because uh, I think it has a lot of capabilities at a great price for a pack axe or pack hatchet. So as always, guys, thank you so much for coming over here, checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video, and uh, check us out on all the relevant social media as well. That's always a great way to see what is up and coming, see behind the scenes shots and footage and all that type of stuff. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.